today we are going to make a feta cheese bake and um, you're gonna love it it's simple it's easy it's elegant and it goes great with toasted bread and Greek wine and so if you like anything food wine and lifestyle you found the right place let's get started yay so, and Brian is on the camera yes and I'm today. on the camera so I'm gonna so, kind of pan down we're gonna start off with our feta cheese and I have preheated my oven to 450 degrees and yes. we're gonna add probably well and hold on so there's very various brands of feta cheese we are using what president which I think is a French company yeah this is a French this is not company. necessarily my favorite but that's what they had at yeah. the store Sometimes so we're using president's feta cheese yeah and you definitely need the chunk Yes. The chunk is what works. Um, yeah, for the bake, the chunk, yeah, you, I mean, uh, you could probably use cubes, but to be honest, try to get a full block. Of, yeah, this is, yeah. you need the chunk for this yes. dish. So, what about that much? Um, you want to make the whole thing? I would make the whole thing. You want to make the whole thing? So, we're going to fit in there. Yep. Perfect. Look at there. that. Whoop. So, this is going to be our liner. Um, we don't. We'll just snack on this, and then, and then, um, Leanne made some olive. Um, oh, what are they called? Baguettes, olive, <laughs> olive, infused, olive baguettes. infused French baguettes. And I know it sounds weird, but it really that's what the that's what the um, feta cheese bake really goes great on. I mean, you can eat it you normal. Or crackers. crackers, we got those like pitas. a. We got those Italian. We have, I should have made pitas today, baby. Oh yes, my. and guess I what? We pitas. also we got those Greek Mediterranean, Mediterranean cracker flatbread things. I should have made pitas today. I have made my own. Pitas you should have what? Made pitas. What should you have made? Shut up. But you didn't. Shut up. Anyways, Anyways, so you need, all you really need for this dish is your feta cheese, yes. some cherry tomatoes, yes. uh, a couple of cloves of garlic, yes. some basil, some oregano, and some sea salt and pepper, yes. and olive oil, of course. So I don't think that's going to be enough tomatoes since we're using the whole chunk. So I'm going to yeah. cut, I like to cut my tomatoes, I usually get the grape ones, I didn't this time. I like to cut my tomatoes in different shapes. So sometimes they're going to be half, sometimes they're going to be quartered. I just I like different textures. Yeah, we like yeah we and so, change it up a little bit. And I, and so again, everybody, this is like and then and and we'll do a taste testing at the end of this video. But again, this is another one of those kind of pretty quick and dirty. And this um, is a go-to meal. For yeah, us. yeah, it is, and it's a very sexy meal as well. I should have made it's, Yes. What should you have done? I should have made pita. Look at the camera and say that. I should have made pitas. Hi. I, Leanne, I'm old Hartford, did not make what? Pitas. Say that one more time. I did not make pitas. Okay. But I forgot so that I knew how to make pitas so because I've only made them clear once. Clear on that. Yes. I've only made them once, but I do know how to make pitas. Yes. I should have made pitas. Yes. But I didn't. So you're going to get... Olive infused baguette. So deal with that's it. all right because it it's wonderful. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> and you know the Greeks eat bread too. It's not like Greeks only eat pita bread. They eat bread. They've got Greek breads, kind of like bulls. And you know, again, Europe. So it's pretty much the same. Just oh, don't tell that to our Greek friends. Mm -mm. Why? We're gonna tell you. We're not European. We're Greek. Well, they took everything from the Vikings, so <laughs> it really again goes back to being European. Okay. So anyways. Yeah. Actually, don't tell Vikings <clears throat> or Europeans either. So I've got all my tomatoes. I may not use all of that, but I've got it going. I'm definitely going to add all of my garlic. Yes. Because I like garlic. Yes. And we, yeah, so. I have so, about two cloves of roughly <clears throat> chopped garlic. But you can use jarred, so don't worry. Don't, don't, yeah, don't fret use, that. We use jarred when yeah. we're being lazy. They're drunk. And oh, then we're like, let's just do this. And we're like, oh, shit, we got feta cheese. And, oh, we got tomatoes. And sometimes we don't even, most we use cherry tomatoes. But I'm sometimes. Not, I don't measure. That's probably a <clears throat> quarter to a half a cup. Might yeah. add more. Yeah. Um, you, you could just add that after. See, yeah. that's the great thing about it. This is a very easy dish, as you see. Not a lot of ingredients. And it's 
a lot of it is kind of it's just a taste and you know what here's the thing a lot of when <laughs> it when when this is mixed you can that's a great thing what it tastes like raw so to speak not baked will be pretty much the same as when it's baked so if you taste it and you're like ah, a little more salt you know, remember the feta cheese is salty, but it's not that salty. And and some feta cheeses are saltier than others. And I'm using the flaked sea salt, which I love. It's yes. really sexy. Some some feta cheeses are a little saltier than others, so you gotta maybe taste, you know, slice off a piece of the cheese and say, okay, yeah, I don't need too much salt. But they're not. This is like kind of like a just a whatever. And again, this is a very sexy dish. You know, if you've got the ingredients or like, you know, a significant other is gonna come over. Or you know whatever or someone, make it a little easier yeah, to make. someone you're kind of into and is like, oh, I want to come over and let's watch some movies and I'm kind of lonely because like New Year's and Christmas was you know kind of shitty for me, and like what are we doing? And then see, there you go, boom! You can run to the store, grab these ingredients. They're super simple. You probably got salt and pepper. You know, it could just be regular salt and pepper. You need a bottle of Greek wine, which we'll talk about later. But we're right now we're drinking this, and it's we'll really and we will get to that. When we come back for the taste testing. Um, and there you go. A couple of bottles of wine. You know, and they sell pita bread. They sell some, and flat breads and stuff. Um, I, there's many different yeah, brands. Yeah, you can get pre-made pita Yeah, you can just get that and thrown in. Pre-made baguettes. Yeah, a pre-made baguettes. Just baguettes work too. I mean, it's just whatever you've kind of got. You definitely maybe want um, some good French butter. Because I kind of do like a... I don't put I do a little bit sometimes. I'm kind of in and out of that. I, I, I'll i like one piece will be butter and you know, one, with the cheese on it. And one piece will just be... I, it just depends. And that's another thing. Don't be afraid. I mean, you don't want to swamp this dish in olive oil, but don't be afraid of the olive oil because that's what you really do is you dip the bread or the pita in the mm -hmm. hot olive oil. Yep. Yes. All right. So I think we're done. You think we're done? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put... Um, I'm going to put some tomatoes first and then I'm going to drizzle the olive oil on top. And then I may not use all of my tomatoes, but, but this they will be great get, on a salad. They will get eaten just probably waiting around. Yeah. And it's low calorie. Um, you know, and well, not, well, nothing we make is low calorie, I guess, but okay. You want more tomatoes in that? Yeah. I just, yeah. That's probably good That's right probably there. That's good. And then I'll just yeah. drain the rest and of the we'll, olive oil yeah. on there. So, so um, you want to make sure that you put this in a oven-proof dish. Yes. I love this little <clears throat> crock thing. I make my French onion soup out of this, within this, and um, so this is Multiple. a... Multiple... Those, uh, this is safe to 450. Are those those are William Sonoma. No, like, these no? I got at uh, Cost Plus World Market. If you hold it up, the brand might be under there. Nope. Okay. But I got these at Cost Plus. We'll World get Market. you the box. We have the boxes for them, so we'll get you that. So anyway, so make sure it's oven safe. This is safe to 450. That's yes. what I'm going to put it up. And okay. for safety, I am going to put it on a cookie sheet for safety because you don't want. It to, you know, get well, and it disperses the heat, you know, like well, it, it makes too. it so that the bowl now they're they're oven resistant, but obviously it makes it so that the bowl won't like, you know, if there's a easier to get it out of the yeah. oven later. So I, I can never remember how much this needs to be in the oven. So around, I'm going to do 20 minutes and then we'll see. It's a lot of guesstimation. Minutes. So we're, because you want the cheese soft, but not not obliterated. Yeah, no, so, yes. So, and it depends on your altitude. That's one thing about cooking shows. I don't know if you guys figured this out already, but on cooking shows, a lot of it's guesstimate because your altitude does have an effect on how long it takes to cook things. Yes. They never tell you that. We are at really high altitude. We're at 6,800 feet. And so, you yeah. need to be careful. So, with that, we're not going to bore you with like, do, 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 do. We're just, so we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna end it here and when we come back we'll talk more about it it'll be out of the oven we're gonna do a sample we'll talk about the wine and I'll tell you how long and, it took me yeah to make yeah it. yeah and so there you go and we will be back y'all yes sass yes sass everybody <laughs> welcome back Greek for hello I, I 
from the last video I got. Welcome back. All yeah. right. So, it took about 25 minutes to cook this because, like I said, we want the cheese soft but not obliterated. And the, and so, you have to be careful. One. Okay. You have to be careful when you Are cook you your stuff so it doesn't get preparing. too hot. And you want to hold it up? Yeah. So, yes. Show. So, yeah. I put it on. So, how that's hot, baby. So, it's good. Try it up. But you could see that's a little hard to. Oh, don't burn your fingers. But. So, and you notice that I put it on. And I can hold it. So, I know. You no, notice well, that. I was going to. So, that's like how it'll look. Like it, Ooh, yeah. that's so good. So you notice that, so I put oh. it on a plate and you could actually put it on a bigger plate so that you can put your toasted bread around it. But you want to use a <laughs> napkin or some kind of towel or something or a pot holder on top of your plate just so that you don't um, yeah. crack your plate if your plate's not oven proof. So yeah. make sure you use some kind of towel, pot holder, or trivet even Just another napkin, something yeah. so that the hot okay, that's okay. That's bowl okay. is not on top of the plate directly. And if you use a larger plate, you okay. can like put all your bread around it. Yeah. So you could use a larger plate with the napkin, and then you can put all your toasted bread. So I toasted okay. my bread. So the baked feta with tomatoes and um, toastats. Uh, we put olive oil on it. Sometimes we'll do a little garlic and a little bit of uh, parsley. This time we're just kind of going straight. But this one, because the topping is the right. star. So I just right. put a little bit of olive oil on my bread, and I broiled it for a couple of minutes just so that it's nice and toasty to hold up to the cheese. Right. And as we saw in, you saw in probably like the last video, I think, I'm not sure where, but in the wine, this is what we are drinking today with this, right? Um, and this was, it's well, a dry red we'll a Greek little. wine. It's really good. Yes. Highly recommend this yes. wine. It, we won't get too into it. Um, it because you can before, during and after food. Yeah. But, um, the agri Geeko yeah, is try. one of, is one of the <laughs> most, sorry, Carmen and Elise, our friends that are half Greek. Most noted red grapes, uh, varieties of Greece. Um, this wine really has a rich bu uh, <clears throat> bouquet of of soft fruity taste, a soft fruity taste, and some spicy spicy notes. Notes, yeah. Our, our eyesight's getting yes, bad. Yes, I'm old. Welcome anyways, to old age people. Anyways, but you'll see the full review in the other video. Uh, the video um, that was posted last week. And we already know this is going to go. We had it with the Dolmas, which was delicious, and we're going to have it with this. So and, I say we should try this. Yeah, I think we should just yeah. Get in there and then just your so napkin I your like first. to take a little bit of the cheese and kind of smear it on my bread, and then I will take a little bit of the tomato and put that on top with some of the olive oil. So yes. you've got your baguette or your pita. Yes, I did not make pita. Your baguette or your pita with the um, the, the feta that, that I smeared on there, and then the baked tomatoes, and then um, it's got that olive oil. And Why it's didn't be you make pita? Right? Because I didn't make pita. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. Mm. Mm. So you can definitely taste. The feta, the tomatoes, the garlic, the oregano, the basil, oh, man, the yeah. olive oil is just amazing. And it's perfect pairing. Like as if we knew it wouldn't be. Got our glove. I guess we should change glasses. Well, yeah, we've been using these all day. <laughs> but, but oh, oh my gosh, oh, it's man. really good. Yes. It's just got this, the crunch from the baguette with the olive oil infused. Uh, baguette and then and the, the feta that. which is creamy and you got all this oil and juice which I like to just dump the dunk my bread in um oh yeah no, this is definitely yeah. one of our go-to recipes because let me 
when you have people coming over and you don't know what to make, this is a quick appetizer, right? Quick appetizer. We've made this multiple times for our friends and they've loved it. So this is simple, it's sexy, it's tasty. What the hell was that? It was supposed to be delicious in Greek, but I don't <laughs> think that didn't sound right. <laughs> and then, and okay, so yeah. I'm sorry, I'm trying to learn Greek on the fly. So the reason okay. why he's showing Greek, <laughs> not only because no. of the <clears throat> wine, mm. but I, I adapted this recipe from a local Greek restaurant. Yes. About, oh gosh, six or seven years ago, oh, we, no. I went to a girlfriend's mm. birthday party at this Greek restaurant in town. And they had this feta bake, and I got it. And I was like, well, I can make this at home. Yeah. So this is my version of this restaurant's feta cheese bake. Yeah. I'm sorry. I've just been kind of, I was focusing on learning Greek. And then, um, and, and yeah. So again, like I was saying earlier, oh, this is a very, very simple dish that you at home can do. Um, and it's... You and it's such a mood. Yeah, it does. And it, it's, well, it's a sexy dish for yourself or for someone else or whatever. Um, and it's also a family dish, especially if I, you know, I'd probably have to, you'd probably have to want to make, well, well if you're so just going to have that, you'd have to make like two blocks if you got like a so bunch for of people. So people, but... for two people, this is a perfect size. But if you're yeah. having, for like dinner, yeah. right? But if you're having multiple people, then this is an appetizer. Yeah, like if you had this and some of those dolmas and like some hummus. So this would be hummus, an appetizer um, if you're having a group of people. Yeah. Versus if you're having just two people. Yeah. This is a It's just dinner. amazing. Yeah. It's like you can't. Yeah. It's just. Yeah. You can't. Yeah. No. Mm. So yeah. So this is like a dinner for mm. two people. Again, I'll show you. Oh. Look at that luscious cheese and the tomatoes, and it's just amazing, and mm. uh, olive oil, and it just goes great with the bread. And um, if you if you if you don't make your own pitas, you can buy pita. And, yeah, I mean, see, you know. I've been making I've been making this dish with baguette for a long time, so I didn't even think about making pita because we've been making it with. And this it. is the problem: you didn't think. <laughs> You don't care about me no, enough. No, I don't. I don't actually. To make actual pitas. I don't. But you know what? You don't care enough about me to make actual pitas. So he's never made bread at all. So no. What do you keep looking at? Because it's oh my gosh! I never noticed that it that was oh a sport. It says sport, but I thought it was the S P Q R, the Rome. Well, I thought it was the Rome thing. This is a gladiator sweater, by the way. No, and I know, and I, that's why I thought it was the SPQR, which is the thing for it's Rome. It's my Italian sweater. Um, yeah, so I don't know where, so here's a, so, so we're done. There you go. Yeah. Um, this is really good. You can have this any day of the week. This is so simple. You can make it on And like Wednesday. outside, it's clouding over. It's getting cold. It's getting any dark and yucky again. And so like, this is like a perfect thing. We're going to fire up. I think we're going to do a James Bond movie. I think we're going to do. No, oh well, my God. Please, yeah. please, please. I wish they would release the James Bond movie. Yeah. Now I will pay $20 for this. Either that or we watch my life in ruins. Ooh. That is a really good movie. Yeah. You know what? We should watch that movie because it's, yeah. it's filmed in Greece. Yeah. So I think we're yeah. going to watch my life in ruins because. That'll work. And then we're going to eat this. And we're we're gonna, doing, we've been doing Greek And we're going to open day. a second bottle because this is already like Except pretty much. Except for the baguette. <laughs> um, we've been doing Greek all day. But baguettes yeah. are, they probably have a baguette similar. Every culture has a form of bread. Long bread. Yeah, well, like a, well, a like, yeah, bread. like a bull usually actually. Right, but they may have a long bread right. too. So you never know. <laughs> Vikings have ask. long bread. And we have long boots. And this, he's not talking about. Food people. He's so, not talking so about where are we food. at? Um, so we're we're, again, we're not going to get into this too much, but so this it was last we were rating video. this a nine. It's really good, really good. And we had rated. Um, if you want to compliment this dish, oh, this would actually you, go really good. Yeah. With the, so the, and and in the last video we did the thing. So it's, this is the domus um, from um, Divina. Divina. So. Like, kind of cheese, those two so things would really be amazing. I think they would go together, um, like, all of it. So, yeah, and then we had rated 
We had rated this product a, a nine. 9 as well. Because, because it's great for a canned product. For a canned product, it's phenomenal. So, yeah. So, that's where we're at. And, and, and so, the, the and, and like I said, this is the simplest dish you could possibly make. It's sexy. It's it's quick and dirty. And we talk over each other, you know yeah. that. Yeah. So, I know I'm going to rate this dish a yeah. 10 because, well, well that's just one of it. our favorites. <laughs> well, that too, but it's it's that's one of our favorites. So, Yeah. We're going to make it through all this. Like I said in the last video, just focus on yourself, focus on your family, focus on your loved ones, focus on like whatever it is that you wanted to do, yes. diving, I don't know what, like whatever, jump out of an airplane, I don't freaking know. But set that, set that as a goal for this year. It's going to be a rough one again probably, so buckle up. But yep. focus on something you want to do, write poetry, I don't know what, and, and just do it. And... Like I said in the last video, is carve out that day for yourself, four hours as a minimum, your sexy Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, whatever, half of Wednesday, sexy half of Wednesday, and, I don't know. You know, if, you're, if you have, a, if you, just if do you it. have children, work it out either with your spouse or someone that, because there are single parents out there, work it out with your spouse or a trusted friend to take your kids for a few hours every week. Hell, I'll take your kids for like a couple hours, but I guarantee you they're going to come back with some crazy <laughs> stuff, man. They're going to be like, don't I just start a fire with no, your sticks. No, don't trust them. So, <laughs> if look. you have children, have your... The guy needs his time too, just as much as the woman. So, trade time with your spouse. Have a trusted friend. Take care of your friend's children, and they take care of your children. And, and just give yourself a few hours every week just to be you, whoever you are. If that's yeah. a lush like me, be a lush. Don't be mad, though, if your <laughs> daughter shows up with an AK-47 dress and it's like, what the hell is that? And she's like, well, me and Uncle Brian went out and we bought this plain black dress and then we cut out these stencils of an AK-47 and did kind of like this spray <gasps> pattern. Oh my god! And, which is already make... made and patented by the way from, from under our thing. I just haven't posted that. I was going to say, can you make that I've already dress done, for me? I've already made it. Oh, okay. Great. Yeah, it's already, I want that dress. So, but I just say, and then it'll like, and then she'll just be like, oh, like that with her AK-47 dress. So you'd be like, so, I can't I send you to eat. school like that. I want to eat. So remember to love, lust, and laugh. <laughs> an idiot this is his, his, his oh his wait, wait 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 stop this is his theme and stop. he screws it up stop and on to you on to you goodbye up to you which is goodbye in greece by the way greek not greek. greece greek well it is in greek. greece but it's greece great. is the work <laughs> <laughs> it's got move it's got style it's got naked people on the beach Oh, Summer Lovers. Great movie. Ooh. If you haven't seen some... Oh, we could watch Summer Lovers. If you haven't seen Summer Lovers, that's a great not movie. Not a family movie. It's no, for couples it's and, and married people, and you'll get my your life crispy in, on. My Life in Ruins is definitely a family movie. Well, yes. Summer Lovers is not. No. It is... Well, hence the title, no. Lovers in the title. But you'll just have to check it out to see it. All right. All right. Everybody, bye. Bye. No. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. Aviato. Bye.